Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing an acrylic swipe with balloon kisses. I may wreck it also. We'll just have to see. But let's go over my paints. My base coat is just going to be Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Uh, my colored paints are Master's Touch Fluorescent Yellow. Blick Cadmium Red Deep Hue. Amsterdam Reflex Orange. I'm really going for some fluorescent bright colors here today. Amsterdam Reflex Rose. Blick Bright Aqua Green. And my last one here is the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And my swipe color is Amsterdam Oxide Black. So for my swipe color, my pouring medium is three parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. My base coat is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, thin with a little bit of water. Now my colored paints are a little bit different. I wanted them to be a little bit on the thicker side. So their pouring medium is 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. And let me show you consistency here. It is on the thicker side. No uh, silicone used today. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera and I'm going to lay my base coat down then I'll get ready to lay my paints down and we'll get started painting. So be back in just a minute. Okay, everybody, we're back and I've put down my uh, base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And here I'm just laying down my colored paints, just covering this uh, 12 by 24 inch canvas. These are very bright colors. I'm excited to use them today. And everyone's been enjoying my uh, balloon kisses, so I thought I would do it on a, a longer canvas to see what kind of effects I get here. Now I'm just using a little plastic sheet and I am starting the swipe uh, part of this pour using my swipe color of that Amsterdam Oxide Black. Um, and it's, it was, again, three parts of the uh, Australian Floetrol to one part of that Oxide Black paint. Here I'm just using a little bit uh, wider piece of plastic. And as you can see, I dabbed the, the uh, edges of my canvas with that leftover paint after I swipe across the colors there and in the end I do go back and I fix up the uh, the edges of the canvas so they look pretty nice here I'm just giving it a quick torch and as you can see I did fast forward this part of the video so it wouldn't take so long here I'm just stretching out those cells because I think it gives a, a nicer effect and here I decide to use the skewer to just wreck it a little bit. Again, it gives the painting a little more interest. And here I am using my little balloon, my water balloon. It's so small you can barely see it there in my hand. And I am just dabbing it on, and I am cleaning it off between just about every dab there with uh, paper towels. Just giving those little balloon kiss flowers This is really a fun pour to do. And when I use my finger, I'm just making stems. You can see I'm really bringing up some of those bright colors there, that yellow and some of the red and the pink. 
gave it a quick torch. Here we are for our close-up, and I am trying to show you most of the painting there. This is the upper left-hand corner, and just some of the effects I got were so very pretty. I'm happy with the cells I got, too. Nice and bright green there. I like using the combination of red and purple especially. And there you can see where I wrecked it a little bit with my skewer. And I like using the black oxide also for my uh, swipe color. It just gives it the painting more of a three-dimensional um, effect. It's real pretty in this area. Very bright. Here I used um, a real small uh, cotton ball with um, saran wrap on it and I made real little flowers there and I did that off camera. And this is the upper right hand corner here just going down the right hand side. A lot of really pretty effects in here. And there's those small flowers I was talking about. So let me know what you think of this uh, video. I'd like to thank you for uh, spending time with me here today. And if you'd like to see more of this type of a pour, please let me know in the comments.